Hey, what's up, guys? This is Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to control all your music, whether it's on Spotify, radio, or iTunes, right from your menu bar using Skip Tunes. Now, Skip Tunes can be downloaded directly from the official App Store on OSX, and after it's been installed, you go ahead and see this menu icon up top. Now, it does cost 99 cents to download, so be sure to keep that in mind before purchasing. Now, after it's installed, you go ahead and open up any app. In this case, I'll go ahead and open up Spotify. And now anytime you play a song, you'll also get this notification up top. And inside of it, you will see the currently playing song, its album art. You could also share it through Facebook or Twitter, enable shuffling, change up the volume, and if you want to change the look of that, go ahead and tap the settings icon and tap preferences. From there, you will be able to enable skip tunes to start at login, which means every time you start your computer, skip tunes will start as well. And you can also display controls in the menu bar. So you have the play and next track up top in the menu bar as well. You could also detach it completely from the menu bar and have it as a pop-up anywhere on your screen. So I like, but I like to keep it in my menu bar. You could also change up the hotkeys on your keyboard to do various tasks like showing hiding the window, pausing and playing a track, or increasing or decreasing the volume. All you have to do is tap record, create the new shortcut on your keyboard, and then it will record it onto skip tunes and it'll be available to use anytime you are using or playing any kind of music app. Alright guys, you're going to cover it for skip tunes. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.